So the video you just saw is a spec ad I collaborated with my friend Givars from TGE or the Givars Effect and another good friend of mine Grant helped me out shooting this uh, video. So all of those I shot with a Canon R5C and it's the first time I used a cinema line of Canon. So you can read it in the title. I don't have the camera with me anymore. That video was done well over a month ago and uh, it was overall a fun experience. I was just very busy with other stuff. But anyway, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Canon R5C. All right. So, uh, shit, walang ilaw. So uh, this is the venue for today. Uh, we're going to set up some lights. Uh, very simple setup just for me to be able to use the Canon R5C and uh, it's gonna be a fun shoot because I'm shooting with some friends today. And uh, yeah, hinihintay lang namin mag dark because most of my scenes that I prepared are um, in a dark setting. It's uh, currently 5.30 and it should be dark soon. Uh, I guess this is my first frame. Backlit uh, two SL60s right here. And for some of his highlights, I'll be using some RGB tube lights. So yeah, that will be fun. It's uh, a little darker now, so I'm gonna start setting up the lights. All right. Mixing the setup here. <laughs> and we dilim na, so. Perfect timing. Yep. Blue chairs, definitely out. What else? A little bit distracting. Detail. Just taking out the unnecessary colorful. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Setting up the backlights, Dito, so it just shines on the subject. Shoulders lang, delts. <laughs> Alright. I, I don't have the I don't have the skill. Yeah. How do I look? Oh! You're looking very backlit. Oh! That looks good. So the subject's here and transpass. Okay. And I'll cut into a workout montage and the video's done. Basic. <laughs> Just a quick spec ad. Thanks, Grant. Just a quick spec ad for this um, review video. 24 hours was not enough for me to dive deep into the specs of this camera. I obviously just you know, ran a mood board in my head. I, I barely wrote things down and uh, I just called Givars like, yo, let's do this shit. And he was like, yo, G. <laughs> That's pretty much how the conversation went so yeah i'm sorry if i keep touching my forearm it's very itchy this is the first time i used a, a very hybrid camera when i say very hybrid i don't really know how to describe this camera because it's a mirrorless body it has features of canon cinema line so if you're familiar with the canon c70 or the canon c200 those are the very expensive lines in 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 Canon cameras and uh, this camera the R5C just so happens to be inside a mirrorless body I have notes here so if I if you catch me looking here that means I'm reading off my notes you have here the EOS R5C and honestly every time I touch it it's not mine <laughs> and I have to be very very careful with it so my setup for this one uh, I'm just going naked you know just body 15 to 35 lens. I'm not really gonna use an external monitor, not really gonna use a matte box. I lack the cage for this thing. I don't really have the cage. Uh, included with this kit is the 15 to 35. And we also have a, well, we really won't use this, an, an, an RF 70 to 200. This stays in the bag. Sayang, I don't really, I only have 24 hours with this uh, bad boy, so I'll only use the video, which is its selling point. I'll only use the video capabilities of the R5C. C meaning cinema so yeah we're just getting ready just getting prepped up so yeah we'll, we'll go naked just a run and gun shoot for this one all handheld <laughs> all Actually, hand that's held. not the coffee uh, probably bro <laughs> i used 4k 60 for the slow-mo shots and 4K24 for the real-time shots in C-Log3. I found it weird that there's no C-Log2 in this camera, being that it is maybe considered in the cinema line, but maybe in a future firmware update, there will C-Log2. But C-Log3 is great. I honestly have never worked with C-Log3 before. I almost exclusively used the Canon M50 for my previous projects and all I had there was an emulation called CineStyle. It's just an emulation of the flat profile but it's great. 
It does the job. Pero kulang siya sa dynamic range, especially when I'm pulling out from the shadows. Why did that sound wrong? <laughs> the body fits the hand very well, although it is a little uh, bigger than what I'm used to. This is a very awkward gesture right now, but please bear with me. The body is fairly bigger and obviously thicker, so if you're viewing it from the top, I'll try to put a picture here. If, you've, if you're viewing it from the top, it's thicker because of that little bump that goes to the back of the screen or the, the, the flip LCD screen. That's because they allotted space for the fan, which is great. That solves the overheating issues of the Canon R5. Again, having this camera for a very short period of time limited me with touching on the bells and whistles. Overall, it was fun to use. There, there wasn't much of a learning curve being as it is a, a Canon camera. Although the, the thing that caught me off guard was uh, switching from, from a photo interface into the cinema menu and it takes a little bit of time so if you're like a photo slash video person this might uh, cause you delays because there's like an eight second delay when you're switching from photo to video so uh, that's something to keep in mind but you know it doesn't really bother me if my project is running only on video and or photo but i don't think i'll be using an r5c for a photo project we're halfway done we're just taking some photos so far my experience with the r5c it's actually very easy to use. Wala masyadong learning curve. Sorry, am I in your shot? <laughs> wala wala siya masyadong learning curve because it's Canon. Although I haven't used the cinema menu. When you switch from the photo to the video interface, it changes to the cinema type interface. So yeah. We're just figuring out other shots and we're pretty much almost done. Come on, boys. Swollen. Swollen, bro. <laughs> you good, Grant? I'm good. So who is the Canon R5C4? I would go as far as to say that this might be an entry-level cinematographer camera. It's not a cheap camera at all, but it doesn't have all of the features a cinematographer would want in their, you know, working cameras. Mic SLRs, audio outputs, built-in ND filters. It's pretty much a smaller body for a cinema camera. Will this be good for casual cinematographers? If you have the budget, I don't see why not. Definitely not for a full-time photographer, but then the image that comes out of this camera, the R5C, is still really good. It, it really falls to the taste of a person. If, if you're someone who does slightly serious cinematography, then yeah, by all means, if you can afford the R5C, why not? If you're someone who's taking videos seriously, like cinematographer levels, this might not be a ca the camera for you. This camera falls in a weird place of the spectrum of casual shooters to serious cinematographers. It, it, it has its own <laughs> place. But definitely if you're starting out and you have the budget, why not? If you're someone who's going to film school and you don't really need the whole lot of a cinematographer's arsenal, this might be a good option for you. Only if you can afford it because it's not cheap at all. And that's a wrap for the R5C. Woo! Thanks, Grant. Thanks, Givaris. Thank you, Canon, for letting me borrow this because uh, it's been a joy. Nakatakot, but really had fun. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to you, Leo. Because I'm doing a talking head for it. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. I know I didn't have enough time to uh, really play around with this camera. If I do, this channel will know. <laughs> but for the time being, I'm also excited to show you my newest toy. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Can you see it? No, you can't. You know what? I'll just take a video. So this is the camera I'm using right now. It's very new and I'm excited to show you guys in the next video what I've done or what I am doing with this new one. So I'd also like to thank Givars and Grant for helping me out with this video. We'll probably collaborate on another video project, hopefully soon, since I have a new camera. We'll play around with this some more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit.